for the train approach as the train approaches. <coughs> Isn't this lovely? Right, so please respect other users. Check the ivy, man, that looks cool. Anyway, it's going over every sort of stanchion bit of the fence. That'll soon hold the fence there. Brilliant. And here's this wee rest area, <coughs> like I was saying. This wee rest area, which has got well, it's been planted with wild flowers, and they're not up yet, they're just starting to get up. Remember, it's really cold here, especially in the mornings. Uh, but they do well, you know, it's silver fern there. It's like a yellow flower it gets on it. Loads of wee vetchlins and that. Germander speedwell. <coughs> Plantain, plantain, which is astringent, uh, it's a painkiller. Uh, plantain, rubber plantain. As you can see, the plants are now coming up. Red dead nettle there. White dead nettle in full flower and geraniums. It's the cut leaved uh, type geranium type pretense, I think. Uh, such a bonny wee thing, a lamnia. White dead nettle. It mimics the nettle, but you'll not get stung off these ends. It just pretends that it's a stinger, but it doesn't. <laughs> Again, it's secrets of what. <laughs> oh, there's my time. Uh, it's Teraxoma, Teraxoma officinalis, or dandelions. But I always like them as the time. Oh, the wee heads, look. Lovely. Teraxoma officinalis. Officinalis coming for the Greek of used to man. Here we go. Everyone has the right to be on the most land and inland water. Providing they act responsibly, your access rights and responsibilities are explained fully in the Scottish Outdoor Access Code. So you can look it up. Uh, you are here. There's a wee, wee grassy beach. <laughs> And there's a further map. It's also the cinnabar moth, uh, the cinnabar caterpillar that you get here. There's quite a lot of wild plants. Everybody comes here to enjoy it. It's lovely. There's loads of white dead nettles there. I love it because it looks like we monks we hoods on the individual flowers. If you could get right up to them. And here it is hiding amongst Urtica dioca or the stinging nettle. So <laughs> isn't that funny? He's protected by stinging nettles. Then it pretends to be a nettle. <laughs> And now these seats are dedicated to people. So they're put there by people. People buy these. Or pay a annuity or something. There we go. Here's Stana get wakening up as the sun gets to it.
any sign of trains yet. These are new ends put here. <coughs> RIP Muggy. Oh. That's nice. That was people that uh, used to walk here. I'm not putting them on because that's disrespectful. And I'm not about disrespect, I'm only about showing things. Oh, look. Regeneration of a tree. Right there. Looks like an elm. Here's definitely a elder, I think it is. Uh, quite a wee bit, a couple of re regeneration. But could there be some trees down here, actually? And there is trees that uh, fit the description. The white beam would be all right here. The rowan would be all right here. The hazel, the willow. Huh? I'll plant some of them. Looks like a pot and till is there. Yeah. Now he's umbiliferous. It's, there's a train. Hey! Not in service. Huh. It's funny. It looked like it was in service to me. There's false oak grass. See the panicles on it. These are umbiliferas, these sort of umbels, like umbrella. That's how they get their sort of parasol flowers, like. And this is a nice walk. Ooh, I'll never be able to walk along there. Oh no. Tide is coming in. So, there you go, we're looking at fourth properties now. Remember, own by Edinburgh, all oh, that. All oh, that there's own by Edinburgh. So, you Dundorians are not allowed to go on land that is Dundee land but belongs to Edinburgh fourth properties. Ridiculous man. And I used to fish in there when I was a wee laddie at Carolina Port Power Station. <laughs> and now I'm no allowed to go there. Ridiculous. Have we see wee fish or that? I've seen shoals of wee whiting or whatever along here. The sun's starting to come up. And then you'll see the silvery tea. Goes past Dundee twice a day. Or so McGonagall wrote. <laughs> uh, It'd be encouraging to see some fish, like, but that is what it is, and, but it's a lovely walk, and there is loads of people that use it, a host of people, the old people, to young people, people on bikes, people on scooters, families enjoying the war, and it's amazing. <coughs> and it only gets better. The mayor we use it and the mayor we respect it. We talk to why you're litter. It's no hard to ask, is it? No hard task. You lap into the waves. Wee sparrow there just flew past there. Look at 
just hear the ooh, granny's bonnets. Yeah, granny's bonnets. And there's rubus fruticosis. Oh, there'll be bitter berries down here. I would imagine, anyway. Salted caramel. How about salted uh, bramble? <laughs> Uh, you'd make a salt, salted bramble pie. <laughs> a wee moth. Wee. Yeah, you see other things on it. And there's cuckoo spit as well. There's a wee. There's loads of them. Look at them all. Wee. Waiting on the sunlight coming in to find a mate. There are brambles, salted bramble pie. These are our umbellifera. That's going to be a yellow, I think. Uh, there's so many to identify. Sounds like colt's foot. Luckily for the railway, it keeps this wee body from getting developed for any of the developers. That campion. This is so peaceful. Come and enjoy. Come and enjoy. That's the sun getting up now. He'll soon be hitting the tea. Whoa. So, early morning at the River Tay, and this is the Dichty outflows awa, 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 down beyond the castle, right down to Carnoustie, and just where the old mull at Carnoustie at the bend is, just, that's the bridge you go over, that's uh, Dichty Burn outflowing into the Tay. We've got an amazing amount of nature around with, but it's been destroyed at an alarming rate. And I'll tell you what it's been destroyed by. Dundee City Council. How disgusting. That's how I'm going about asking them what they're doing. Well, we can't get down there either. It's kind of wet work. <laughs> but look at the colours, all oh, the pebbles. Oh, seen some fish darting there. Good. That in the deeper water. Maybe thought I had a rod and line. But it didn't. They were smolts, I think. They're only about, what, four or five inches dark. So they're quite fast movers. Look at the colours. Huh? Every colour you want. Every colour you could think of. It's like a pastel of palettes. Oh, there we go. There's the Wallace Fleur. The thistle. Thistle do. <laughs> oh, and there's fumatory. Fumatory. And amongst the nettles, the Urtica dioca. There's mere fumatory there. There's a better specimen to look at. It's not quite open yet, but when it opens, it's got these trumpet-like floors. Ribwort plantain, plantago magus. <gasps> bird's foot trefoil. That's what that wee plant is there, bird's foot trefoil. And the trefoil is because it's got three sort of floors on one. You can see there, it's got four, it's got four, but it's bird's foot trefoil. Ah, I love walking in nature, I really do. It's amazing how well it makes you. 